Leaving the Paris Climate Accord, will it save jobs or eliminate them? Next, on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. Saying last Thursday that staying in the Paris Climate Accord could cost America as many as 2.7 million jobs, President Donald Trump pulled the U.S. out of the treaty. During the announcement that came at the White House with dire financial predictions, had we stayed in the accord, the president said, believe me, this is not what we need, including automobile jobs and the further decimation of vital American industries on which countless communities rely. The facts are that the job estimates at the center of the climate debate have been so varied that many analysts view them as unreliable. But as Kevin Book, the managing director of Clear Energy Partners, said, those numbers are exercises in imagination adding, it sets in motion potentially an acceleration of the original Paris prognosis we had, which is that this probably ends with trade-based measures. And the facts are that those tariffs which he speaks of could easily cost good American jobs. In fact, the very real possibility of heavy tariffs on U.S. carbon emitters from countries was so worrisome to 25 U.S. corporations that they took out a full-page advertisement in the New York Times last week arguing in favor of remaining in the Paris Accord. The ad reading in part, by expanding markets for innovative clean technologies, the agreement generates jobs and economic growth. U.S. companies are well positioned to lead these markets. Withdrawing from the agreement will limit our access to them and could expose us to retaliatory measures. The president's withdrawal leaves the U.S. as the third country outside the massive international agreement alongside Syria and Nicaragua. I'm Mark Harrison with your Liberty Minute.